close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to get your mind to stay right here with this one thing, because the mind needs to be trained. As the Buddha said, it, the mind well trained brings happiness. If it's not trained, it can take good things and turn them into, into pain. But if it's well trained, it can take unpleasant things and turn them into something good. So our happiness depends on training the mind. So here, make sure it just stays with this one thing and see how long you can keep it with the breath. If it wanders off, just bring it right back. Wanders off again, bring it right back again. Show it that you mean business. Because otherwise it goes slipping off and you totally lose control. And if you don't have control over your own mind, what are you going to control in this life? You've got to get the mind focused so you can decide what's really worthwhile in life. And then make your decisions based on that. As we're focusing on the breath, we're developing a quality called mindfulness. Sati in Pali. And it means the ability to keep something in mind. And here, once you've made up your mind that there's something you really want in life, you want to keep that in mind all the time. Don't let yourself wander off and destroy what you know is the good thing that you're aiming at. So stay focused right here. The mind needs this training. We're developing mindfulness, alertness, watching what's going on, and ardency. The quality wants to do this well, because you want to do your life well. And all these qualities are necessary for life to take the right direction we want it to go. So see if you can keep your mind trained right here. And realize you don't have to do this only while you're here at the monastery. When you go back home, the breath is right there. You can stay centered right there, and it gives you a good place to stand as you go through the day, so you don't get pushed around by other people's agendas. You've got your own agenda that you want to live your life skillfully. You want to keep that foremost. And other people have wishes that are in line with skillfulness. Okay, you're happy to help them. But otherwise, you've got to keep your own intention firm, because the ways of the world can push you all around. So see if you can be mindful of the breath, alert to the breath, and ardent in keeping yourself right here. That's an exercise that trains the mind in skills that are going to be useful all around.